Hi, I'm Bill Sheehy. I am the director of Latin American Masters Gallery here in Santa Monica, California. And I'm here today to talk about the work of the great Puerto Rican painter Arnaldo Roche Rebel, or Roche as he liked to be called. He is regarded as one of the most important artists of his generation to emerge from Latin America or the Caribbean and we've been honored to show his work for the past 15 years. Arnaldo Roche was born in Puerto Rico in 1955 and survived a early childhood trauma coming from a very difficult family background to excel in his academics and ultimately um, receive a scholarship to the School of the Art Institute in Chicago. It's there that he received his MFA degree, and within a couple of years, he was already established as an international figure, exhibiting in many of the world's most important museums. This period uh, of the 80s leading into the early 90s culminated in Roche being included in the exhibition Latin American Artists of the 20th Century at the Museum of Modern Art in New York in 1992. We're going to talk now a little bit about the evolution of his work. Uh, Arnaldo really became a world figure first and foremost, uh, exploring uh, issues of identity, both personal and collective. And he did so by studying his own uh, appearance, doing a very remarkable series of self-portraits, which characteristically showed, uh, Arnaldo showed himself as a person camouflaged, so to speak, in a skin, uh, uh, or, or I would call it a skin rather than a costume, of um, leaves and um, sticks and palm fronds. It was as if he was hiding in some sort of uh, uh, tropical uh, underworld, but at the same time, looking out at the viewer in a very, with a very direct and confrontational gaze. These early self-portraits were followed by uh, another uh, major transformation in Roche's work beginning in the early 90s, 92, 1993, Arnaldo began to explore a wide range of other territories, the most remarkable of which was a study and mediation on the life and work of the great uh, Dutch master Vincent van Gogh. And these paintings that he did on the theme of van Gogh um, not only explored uh, the formal relationship between uh, Roche's expressionism and that of, of Van Gogh, but more importantly, I think, for Roche, they explored, the, they explored the turmoil, the sadness, the sense of isolation, and of um, you know, various vulnerabilities, including mental illness, that were a part of Van Gogh's own history, and which in a way gave Roche a means of accessing his own parallel um, uh, family history. Um, these paintings that he did on the theme of Van Gogh were followed by yet another dramatic transformation in his work, which took place uh, in 2004. And it was in that year that these cataclysmic uh, uh, tsunamis hit uh, Indonesia, the most uh, violent of which killed tens of thousands of people. Roche um, reacted to those events by uh, discontinuing the work uh, that he had done as a colorist in his work. Uh, and from that point onward, he painted almost exclusively in a monochromatic blue. These, these blue paintings uh, not only um, you know, surprisingly, they had a, a richness of tonality and texture that, uh, on a formal level, you really didn't miss the color. But they, but the use of blue was very interesting. It not only suggested, uh, you know, melan melancholy and sadness, but it also suggested the isolation of the island man. You know, surrounded by 
by a world of blue and by the forces of nature, of uh, wind and water, uh, that uh, coming from Puerto Rico, you could understand why Roche would have been very attuned to this, um, this coming crisis in the world that we're all living in now, which is that the world is changing and we're all more subjected, uh, subject to these, to these uh, natural disasters. Arnaldo Roche passed away in 2018, and during the last two years of his life, he did a remarkable series of paintings which are ostensibly botanical paintings, but which are in fact explorations of uh, the relationship between expressionism and abstraction. And uh, when you put those two words together, what you come up with is the abstract expressionist who were really the, you know, it was a great heroic period in American painting. Um, the paintings themselves are, have a remarkable, a formal power. Uh, uh, they have a luminosity, a sort of a broken glass, uh, stained glass quality to them that Arnaldo achieves not only through his understanding of color, which I might add, it's interesting that these are his, the, the most important color paintings he did after this long period of painting almost exclusively in, in monochromatic blue. So they have a really vivid coloration, but that's not all, that's not the only reason why they're so remarkable. His technique for these paintings is very interesting. He's painting independent of the canvas on sheets of mylar, and then as his oil paint is drawing, he's cutting pieces of it of it off and reattaching it to the surface of the painting. So a lot of the sharpness and construction of these paintings is coming from this technique. More than just a formal enlivening of the work, the paintings are also interesting because in the way in which he's making the paintings, he's also making a connection between fragmentation and renewal. And that's a very, very important poetic uh, conversation. Uh, Roche's work was always aware of the fact that life was both a struggle for all of us, that all life involves to one degree or another fragmentation and then rebuilding ourselves. And here he's expressing that in the way he handles his materials. It's interesting that Arnaldo Roche, who could have lived in New York or Paris, Los Angeles, or any one of a number of major art centers in the world, chose instead to live in his native Puerto Rico. And one of the consequences of that decision was that it allowed him to step back from the pressures and influences of the larger art world and focus on his own vision as an artist. As a result, his expanding technique and the evolution of his themes was very interdirected over almost 40 years of production. And this is one of the things that made him such a unique artist. Whether you're talking about work from the 80s, 90s, uh, the 2000s, or beyond, all of his work is united by a very singular vision and fierce creative spirit. If you'd like to know more about Arnaldo Roche's work, please visit our website, www.latinamericanmasters.com. Thank you.